How's everyone doing? It's good to see everyone. We're good. good. How are yeah. you? It's exciting. I mean, I we I find this is really cool because like we're going back in time, but we're also traveling forward at the same time, which I always thought was cool with this series. And Harry, I do want to know how does this read script wise, knowing that what I just said, right? Like you're traveling back in time, but we're going like you know over twenty years, like since what happened in the first book, Gravy. Like, what's that like reading it for the first time? Yeah, I mean, it's cool because it, it sort of feels like its own thing. Like, yes, it is. It's part of the same world as season one. Yeah. Um, but uh, but like you said, it's like pretty much a whole new cast um, other than a couple of crossovers. Are we allowed to say that? I think, I think we're allowed to say that. Um, so, yeah, it, yeah, it was really Starting exciting. Off and... Perfect, right? With... <laughs> OK, good. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I felt like reading it. I felt like I could see everything. I could see the whole world because having watched Belgravia season one, I was like, yes, I know exactly what this is. And yet it felt really fresh because it was like all these completely new characters. 100%. Um, do, do you go by Benjamin or Ben? Which one Which one can I use? Ben. Ben's fine. Ben's fine. We don't have time for Benjamin. Ben, <laughs> um, what is the mindset traveling back in time? Are you focused on the costumes? Are you focused on the interactions between the characters, the scenery? Like, I always love hearing about that specifically. Like, in, in terms of my preparation for Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Um, I think, like, uh, the scripts arrived quite late. And, uh, you know, I had, I had months pre to prepare, but not really knowing much about what I was doing. So, as you say, I kind of... I tried to go to those places that existed and that were being built uh, and look at that art and listen to that music and just try and get into the world and do everything I could without actually having a script to work on. Um, and that stuff, like that stuff's great. And you, you know, you hope it informs your performance, but in the end it's uh, it's like the, the nitty gritty of the, the guy Frederick really comes together when you actually have you know, pages to see. And, yeah. and I think I was probably I, I want, going, yeah, in, you need the I was going in the wrong direction <laughs> for a long time. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then yeah, once, once you get helps. in the costumes, <laughs> yeah. Um, once you get into the costumes, we've just been talking about costume fitting. So like, it's, it's amazing how much comes together there. And the shoes are always crucial. Like that's how, you, you know, that, that decides how you stand as a person, I think. So that was, that was when it came to life, I think. A hundred percent. Harry, I'm wondering, I guess it depends on, you know, the, your mindset as a storyteller, actor, or depending on the project. But are you conscious of an audience member watching Belgravia the next chapter when you're making it? Or does that happen afterwards? Like, do you ever kind of think like, ooh, how are people going to react to this? Or what are people going to think about this scene? Like, does that ever happen at all? Because I find it interesting specifically. That's a really good question. I think generally no. Which I think is good because I yeah. think if you were aware of that, it could be kind of overwhelming and maybe take you out of it a little bit if you're thinking about how it's going to come across rather than just doing the thing at you're the time. You're thinking about it but, in its own series. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. But it's very different to like stage, obviously, which was where I started. And then I think you did too, where you, there is an audience there live and you get that immediate feedback from the audience with everything that you do. Um, so it's completely different in in that sense because you, you sort of shoot the thing and then it's like months, sometimes years before anybody actually sees it. Yeah. Um, so it can feel uh, like disconnected from the audience in that way. But that's what's so exciting about this bit is like it feels like oh my god all of a sudden every people are actually going to see it um which is which is cool but yeah generally no i think at the time no ben i feel like you you want to add to that like i see this i, well, I, I was just going to say what you want to say i think there's there's definitely like being on set can be quite a, an isolating experience because you you know you give it your all and you're like that was a take was that a take and you know everyone's <laughs> just doing their job they're not they're not interested in giving you feedback and, uh, you know, if it's good, it's probably like, yeah, move on, on to the next one. You're like, I've done that on stage. You know, people would be, you know, on their feet. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it, is, it is a weird experience. But, yeah, I think you ha the, the great thing about screen acting is that you just shrink it down and it's just you and the person in front of you. And that's actually really nice. Well, I never acted, but I was stage crew, follow spot operator for all my high school theater productions. And I thought that that kind of experience working on plays was like the coolest thing and i took away so much from that because like you said when we did like seven days of shows every night was a different audience 
So like one night people would laugh at certain things, some nights they wouldn't at all. I remember one time like everyone laughed at one thing. And we're like, this is gonna be the best day two, the same sequence. No one laughed. So we're kind of like, what does this mean? <laughs> But that's the magic of theater. You just you yeah. just don't know. You never know how it's going to go. Oh, it's You're never so, safe. I know. It's so crazy. Uh, ben, I did want to ask as well, because kind of like, and again, you need the scripts <laughs> to, answer, to answer this question. But like reading scripts and then going and filming it, I feel like in a lot of ways, those are two kind of separate journeys. But I'm wondering, do you see them as separate journeys? Or do you see it as one kind of big, one whole journey specifically? I think, yeah, I know what you mean. There's, there's, uh, you get the script and you're very excited about a given scene or uh, you start, you know, you start learning it, you start maybe making some choices to, to, to try out on the day. And then, and then, you know, you get a knock on your door at 7.30 and they're like, yeah, they want to start shooting now. Uh, and you're like half in a costume and with a bagel hammock hanging out your mouth and you haven't really had a chance to look at the words again. And you're like, oh, well, I guess we'll, we'll do what, what happens then. And a lot of it is... Uh, is kind of on the fly and or, or the scenes you thought would be incredibly romantic or, you know, filmed in Italy turn out to be a really cold day in Scotland. And you're like, well, this is, we're going to have to bring something else entirely to this. Um, so like you prep your ass off with these things yep. in order to be flexible when it actually comes to shooting, I think. Um, and the days where you don't, you inevitably get caught out. So, yeah, yeah but it is two different But you things. also know what they say, too, because I'm a creative as well. And Harry, you can kind of add to this. I mean, there's like the the film that, that's written, the film that's like actually shot, and then the film that's edited, right? And I feel like that's always, in a, in a one way, that's always kind of different journeys. I mean, a lot of people see it as kind of one, but I always see her as one, as like separate journeys, because there's going to be different things that happen. But like, like, do you kind of see it as one big journey though? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, because we're not actually involved in the edit, yeah. our, our journey is just- the reading it the, and then filming it, I would say. Exactly, yeah, yeah. what happens on set. And then you kind of just have to relinquish all power yeah. and be like, okay, I did my thing. Now they can do their thing with it. And sometimes it is kind of different to how you remembered it mm -hmm. uh, on the day. But I mean, they've done an incredible job in the edit for this. It, mm. it like it really is, in my opinion, a good show. I mean, it's calm before the storm, Ben and Harry, because you know the holidays are coming up. There's a little bit of break to kind of be with your family and everything, and then you know the show is still in your hands, cast and crew's hands. You know, the gravy the next chapter. Um, MGM <laughs> Plus January 14th in the new year. You know, in the U.S. So it's kind of like. Are you starting to get prepared a little bit or do you try not to think about it, Ben, about people kind of seeing it? Because it's going to be out of your hands on the 14th. I know. If you think about it's it. A <laughs> feeling. It's a really strange feeling. Um, but at the same time, like it, I feel like we only really just wrapped it. Like We only wrapped it <laughs> at the end of June. So it's quite a quick turnaround for a show to you know, be ready um, within a few months. Um, but yeah, no, it's really exciting. I think it's a really good time for it to... For it to air. Ben, you want to add to that quickly before we wrap up about kind of waiting for it yeah, to come no, out? Yeah, it's, no, it's really exciting. I, I, it's, it's, you know, we've seen it like the cut, we've had a cast and crew screening and we, you know, we know we like it and we're very excited about it. And then it's, it's like, yeah, you're sort of giving your baby away, aren't you? And uh, <laughs> letting people judge it. So it's scary, but it's very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, like I said, Belgravia, the next chapter, MGM Plus, January 14th. Harry, Ben, so great chatting with you both. Thank you so much and happy holidays. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You, you too. Cheers. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.